Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Croatian Mathematical Olympiad for 11th graders, 1996, problem number 1. We wish to prove that cosine to the 5th power of t plus sine to the 5th power of t plus sine to the 4th power of t is always less than or equal to for all real numbers t. When does equality hold? It's a nice problem. Here are my hints, it's not terribly di difficult. First, notice the following fact that if A is a number between minus 1 and 1, and K and L are positive integers, K is less than or equal L, then the absolute value of A to the power of K is greater than or equal the absolute value of A to the power of L. And also, this immortal inequality, this immortal identity, cosine squared plus sine squared is always one. It will also be useful. So give this problem a try, do some estimations, and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so here is my hint, here is my solution. First, notice, notice that we have the following. First, cosine to the fifth power of t is obviously less than or equal the absolute value of cosine to the fifth power. And since this number is less than or equal uh, 1, it's between minus 1 and 1, it can be estimated by cosine squared of t. In the same vein, sine to the fifth power of t is less than or equal the absolute value of sine of t to the fifth power, and that is less than or equal sine uh, sine squared of t as well. Finally, finally, uh, sine to the fourth power is also obviously less than or equal 1. So we have the following, combining all of that. Cosine to the fifth power of t plus sine to the fifth power of t plus sine to the fourth power of t is less than or equal cosine squared of t plus sine squared of t plus 1. But what is cosine squared plus sine squared? It's 1. And that proves our inequality. That proves that our inequality is in fact true. But when, when does equality happen? Well, for equality to happen, we must have equalities in every, every one of these five places. We have to. So equality is attained. Equality is attained if and only if if and only if each of uh, the marked inequalities each of the marked inequalities is actually equality equality is in fact equality and now let's take a look first this I will mark them you know I will mark one two three four Five. By one and three, or maybe by three, by three, we see that sine of t must be greater than or equal zero. And by fifth condition, by condition number five, sine to the fourth power must be equal one. So sine of t is either plus or minus 1. Combining these two observations, we can safely say that sine of t must be in fact greater equal 1. Must be equal 1. When does, when does it happen? Well, sine, is, uh, sine of t is 1 for t where t equals 2k pi where k is an integer, and let's verify every other, every other inequality. Well, so let's mark them. Notice that, or, or let's, let's plug in directly to our 
inequality. Then cosine to the fifth power of t plus sine to the fifth power of t plus sine to the fourth power of t. It's cosine to the fifth power of 2k. Uh, sorry, I made a terrible mistake. E equals pi over 2 plus 2k pi. Sorry about that. So we have... So we have... Uh, pi over 2 plus 2k pi plus sine to the fifth power of pi over 2 over plus 2k pi plus sine to the fourth power of pi over 2 plus 2k pi. Well, the first number is cosine of pi over 2. Then we have sine of pi over 2. And once again, sine of pi over 2. So we have 0 plus 1 plus 1, which is 2. So in other words, so in other words, cosine to the fifth power plus sine to the fifth power plus sine to the fourth power of t equals 2 if and only if t equals pi over 2 plus 2k pi or some integer k. And that closes our problem. An ellipsis and let's close it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.